India is steadily advancing toward self-reliance under the Atmanirbhar Bharat Initiative, and Russia's proposal to localize production of its fifth-generation Su-57E stealth fighter at HAL Nashik facility could mark a historic step. Beyond aircraft acquisition, the plan offers technology transfer, industrial expertise, and the foundation of India's stealth ecosystem, reinforcing the nation's long-term air combat capabilities. Moscow is presenting arguably its most generous fighter deal ever to India, including full transfer of technology, source code access, and clearance to integrate indigenous systems. Yet, a sticking point remains. Russia has not disclosed the minimum order size required for local production. Industry sources suggest Moscow may seek at least 140 aircraft roughly seven squadrons, to justify tooling, supply chain setup, and industrial investment. Rostec officials, while highlighting the strategic benefits, avoided confirming these numbers publicly, emphasizing instead the opportunity to accelerate India's stealth capabilities. The Su-57E is Russia's fifth-generation stealth fighter, designed to rival the American F-35. Key capabilities include stealth design, low radar cross-section, and optimized airframe for survivability. Superior agility, advanced aerodynamics, and supercruise capability for sustained supersonic flight. Advanced avionics, ESA radar, sensor fusion, and multi-target tracking. Modular payloads, Internal weapons base compatible with air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. Future-proof integration, designed for seamless incorporation of Indian systems, including AMCA technologies. The Indian Air Force is evaluating the Su-57E primarily as a bridge platform until AMCA enters service around 2035. Senior officials indicate that India is likely to procure 40 to 60 aircraft, enough to address the current squadron gap, 31 active versus 42 sanctioned, two or three squadrons max, to hold the line until AMCA, not a long-term fleet. Additional factors complicate the deal. Katsa sanctions from the US evaluations of F-35 and Rafale Marine platforms, technical debates over Su-57 radar cross-section, engine reliability, and avionics integration. Despite these challenges, Russia's willingness to provide source codes and full TOD reflects decades of trusted India-Russia defense collaboration from the Su-30 MKI program to missile systems and submarines. HAL Nashik facility, which already manufactures and supports Su-30 MKI components, is considered a natural candidate for partial Su-57 localization. The proposed plan includes phased assembly, testing, and quality assurance, along with gradual indigenization, creating a domestic stealth and avionics industry that supports India's long-term defense self-reliance. If realized, the Nashik Su-57E program could significantly strengthen India's air combat readiness and indigenous fighter development ecosystem. The combination of advanced stealth, agility, and modular payloads, together with indigenous integration capabilities, positions India to maintain a strategic edge while bridging operational gaps until AMCA enters service. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Su-57 fighter aircraft in the comments section.